Residents in Lafayette County are expressing dissatisfaction with the Lafayette County Emergency Medical Services. They say they've experienced problems with responders for months now. WTXL ABC 27's Brittany Kleinpeter gives us a closer look at their concerns. The doctor said they got him on up, they walked him out and um, put him on the stretcher and that's pretty much the last time I seen my father. County residents are voicing their concerns about Lafayette County Emergency Management. I don't think that EMS killed my mom. I don't. I don't think that, uh, that they were the cause of death for my mom. I don't think that my mom was treated like she should have been treated. Unfriendly emergency management technicians, untimely medical treatment, inadequate response times. Complaints have poured into the county commission. My mom looks up at me and she tells me, she says, I'm in Travis, I'm in so much pain. I'm in pain. And uh, the paramedic overheard my mom say that. As rude as she could probably say it, she told her, you know, I cannot give you nothing for pain. As problems continue to mount, it's taking its toll on the organization. On Thursday, August 7th, Trevor Hicks, the former director of the Lafayette County EMS, resigned from his position. We reached out to Hicks to discuss the situation and he told us, quote, he's not allowed to talk. A hundred good calls does not make up for one bad call where somebody has lost their life. To act and respond as an emergency service, that's what and Lafette County, we are a small town and we expect the best and that's what I expected when I called them out for my father. Brittany Kleinbeter, WTXL, ABC 27, dedicated to you. Thank you, Brittany, for that report. Now, Lafayette County Commissioners are holding a meeting Monday at 9 a.m. The residents that we talked to say that they plan to attend in order to voice their concerns. And we'll continue to follow this story and bring you the latest on air and on our website at WTXL.TV.